Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hey, what's up? Uh, I have problem with my internet. Uh, I am from my phone, so. Again? He right. said yes, again. So uh, maybe if I left the, the classes, it's because that, because I am spending my last, <laughs> my last 10 gigabytes of, of data, so. Oh my God, thank you, Fernando, for being here. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna speed things up for you. Okay, we are eight, so let's get this going so we can um, take advantage of the time. So, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Thank you. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present teacher. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Aventura. José Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present, good evening. Good evening. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Luis, Luis, Roberto Luis Sumaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. It's coming. Sandra Elizabeth Irwin, I got you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you. Zulema Ivonne Moreno de Hernandez. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. And Jocelyn Inventa Rivas Abarca. Okay, so we are nine. Okay, how was your day today? President, uh, I have some issues with my internet as well. <laughs> okay, I got it. Thank you for being here. How was your day, Ada? More late, teacher. More or less. A lot of work and very traffic. A lot of traffic. <laughs> yes. Very much traffic. It's difficult, it's difficult there for December, no? Oh, because of December, yes. There's a lot of traffic. In the super and the, uh, what do you say, uh, Centro Comercial? At the mall? Yes, uh, a lot of traffic and um, I trace the the consul, the patients, the appointments of the patients. Yes. Do you have more patients during Christmas? Um, yes. More more patients and in case the cirurgies and the emergency. It's high season. <laughs> it's accident. It's a, uh, a lot of accidents. It's a, it's a, in case they, they work for the December. Yeah, it's just all about the season, right? Yes. Okay, yesterday, uh, what do you remember about yesterday, guys? What was our topic about? 
Where were we? We were watching a video about 3PL. Six kids, six kids about 3PL. The six keys for 3PL. Yes. Mm. Okay, third party. Isn't it three LPs? No, three PLs, right? Third party logistics provider. Okay. So we had a conversation and it was about, as far as I know, to the best of my knowledge, right? We're going to talk about expressions of uncertainty today. Expressions of uncertainty and so on. But tonight, and I told you today we were checking on how to express remorse, how to express regret. Remember? How do you express regret? Would. Would. Could. Would. Should. Should. Plus what? Um, auxiliary have, I, if I remember correctly. Something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's part of it. Okay. But yeah, you can use a verb, only a verb. Just a verb. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let, let's find sense. Oh, what am I doing here? Hold on. Let's find sense to what I saying here. Help me. Uh, so Alexander said that we can use would, could, should. Just these three, right? Yeah. Mm, no. No. Well, yeah, must. Very good, must. Yeah. And then Alexander said that we should use as well an auxiliary, which is have in this case. And then what? In bear and past participle. Oh, the verb in past participle. Okay, but we're missing something very important at the beginning of this models. What is it? Uh, subject. Yes, the subject, right? So how do you do it? Can somebody give me an example? Are you tired, Johnny? I. <laughs> uh -huh. He should have listened to me. Excellent. He should have listened to me. To me. Listened to me. He should have listened to me. He should have listened. Now remember, you can say should have. Should have, should have, would have. Again, you say would have, would have, could have, could have, should have, should have, must have. I must have told her. I must have told her. I must have told her. Um, I should have told her. I should have told her. I could have told her. Could have told her. Mm -hmm. I would have told her. Uh, okay, so how do you call this? How do you call this way of speaking? What kind of grammar is this? For conditional or mix. <laughs> so far, this is not a conditional. This is not a conditional. Tomorrow or yeah, this week we're going to cover conditionals for you. I'll do you that. I'll do you that favor. Have you doing that? So, uh huh. How do you call that? It has to do with the number ten. You like to get tens on the scores, or hundreds, or A plus, A plus maybe. Perfect. Uh, conditional. No. no. 
Perfect. Models. Models. <laughs> you call them perfect models, and they are used to express Probability. regret, regret, and remorse. What is that? They're used to express sorrow. I'm sorry. Yeah. Something that you never eh, did. Perdón, chicos. Alguien está viendo caricaturas o una novela. Se escucha bien fuerte. I'm so sorry. Okay, so yes. Yeah. To express regret or remorse. Um, okay. Okay, so yes, you use this to express regret or remorse. Like when you want to say, debería haberle dicho, okay? Ella debería, o él debería haberme escuchado. Debería haber, okay? Debería. Hmm. Hmm. Could, podría. Must. What is must? Debí haber. Debí. Debí haber. Uh -huh. Very good. I must have done that. I must have done that. Debí haberlo hecho. Okay. Okay. Good. Questions? Okay. What is the what is something Alexander made this question before on the previous module? What is something, what is uh, the thing that you regret the most in your life? Most. Yeah. Without you. Huh? Without. Yeah. What is the thing that you regret the most? In your it's life. not. It's not all. No, most is oh. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. Yes, <laughs> the most. You regret the most in your life. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is it? In my case, let me give you an example really quick. In my case, I have no regrets. <laughs> Being honest with you, I have no regrets. It's tight. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. I should have I should have finished um, my studies at the university. I because I was I was about to finish the career, maybe two more years, and I would have and I would have and I would have got I would have gotten graduated from from the university, you know, um, but. I should have I should have listened to my brother who told me that he was going to pay my career. He had he had some money saved and that was back on 2013. On 2013 I was about to finish uh, the career uh, the university and he was like, "Hey, I'll lend you the money. I'll give you the money so you can finish the studies, right? You can finish your university." But my third, let me see. Yeah, my second child was born and I had other opportunities. So I decided to stop for a moment um, studying, you know, and that moment turned to be like seven years. So then when I, when I wanted to come back to the university, it was too late. The pensum had already absorbed you know, me, and so now I, if I want to finish the career, it's like three or four years, I don't know. That's too much. I'd rather, I would rather study a different thing, you know, or start over, right? So I should have, I should have done that. I should have done that, okay? Let's practice this for a minute. How do you do that, by the way? You can always, use uh, contractions, for example, would, becomes, would've, 
would have. Would have. Okay. Woo, 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 woo. No, let's go. Would have. Would have. Would have. Do it again. Do it again. Could have. Should have. Would have. 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 Right. So here you say would. Would have. Would have. Would have. Here you say could have. Could have. Could have. Could have. Could have. And then you say what? Should have. Should have. Should have. Should have okay. What else? Uh, this is not so common. Must have, must. I'm sorry. Must have, must, must have. I must have told her. Must have told her. Must have told her. Must have told her. And the contraction is this. This is the contraction for have. Is not the auxiliary. Okay. Uh, because the auxiliary is still the model, you know, models are still the um, the auxiliary of themselves. Questions? Questions? No. No? Okay, does this look like Greek? Parece griego esto, no? No? It's okay, right? You got it. Okay. So make the question to your classmates. What is the thing that you regret the most in your life? Hey, I'm sending you this picture, this image to your WhatsApp right now, so you can um, so you can work with it. Welcome to the others. It's eight seventeen, people. We are eighteen already in the classroom. We are reviewing perfect models. So I'll send you that image right now, so you can just print it and paste it on your workbook. Please make sure you practice. I'm gonna split you just for five, 10 minutes so you can practice this. Can somebody give me an answer? What is the thing that you regret the most? What is the thing that you regret the most in your life? Andres. Make it up, inventatelo. Make it up if you want, it's okay. I have studied English before, teacher. Oh, I should have started. I should have studied. Have, I should have studied English before. Yeah, that's something that we all regret. Me too. Me too. I should have started English before. As a kid, you know, I should have practiced more. Maybe now, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there's a plan for everything. Uh huh. William, what is the thing that you regret the most in your life? Uh, yeah, like the dog. I should have studied English. The same thing. Okay. I should have started. I should have started. I could have verb. I would have verb, okay? And yes, yes, Alexander, you can use this as a model. If my father, uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna make it up. Um, if my, un my uncle wouldn't have died, I would have been a better person, maybe. My uncle, if my uncle hadn't died, if my uncle hadn't died, I would have been a better person, maybe. Yep, and so on, okay? Make it up. Si no quieres hablar de tu vida personal, it's okay. Just mentatelo, okay? Talk about la Maria, la Juana. I should have told her that I loved her, right? Not anymore. Okay, let's practice. Make sure you speak. Let's go. Good evening. William. No. <laughs> what is this thing that? Uh, 
and my center light. Let's go to ask the question. What is the thing that you regret the most in your life? Who is going to be first? What about, what about you, Sandra? I regret, I, I regret not having learned the English language before when I had more time uh, to study. Uh, no, it is a bit complicated for because of war and other activities, but I shouldn't study it's more. I mean, for me, it's, it's the, the study English it's uh, the most regret that I have because I would like to to study uh, more more time. Now it's really complicated because this is is really heavy <laughs> when you are. You are in the house working and your family. Is that <laughs> you have two years? Uh -huh. Only one in the, at the beginning of the sentence. In my case, I'm also, I should have, I should have studied English and play, and I should have played sports like basketball. I used to play basketball when I was a child. <laughs> what? He's are you asking me? If you are tall. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Medium. Medium height? Yes, medium height. How tall are you? Um I'm I'm 174. I'm 174 tall. What about you, Andres? Oh, 74. I'm one, 180. 180. Yes. You're <laughs> what? You're <laughs> taller. You're taller than me. Yes. Six. Oh my God! Years. You are taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> He's taller uh -huh. than me. Okay. I was Alberto. What about you? Me. One sixty nine. 169, okay, you're shorter. That's a medium, yeah. Okay. You're medium height, okay. Just one, a... I am 168, 1.58, me medí hace poco. What, 158? Yes. What? Okay. You look one. tall. You look tall. You no. look... I am tall, actually. Oh, you're I guess. tall? I guess I am no, no medium height, or no. No shop. No wait, wait. Shop. Are you one six eight? No, one five eight. Wait, that mm -hmm. was the the man that put on the paper. Uh, yes, one fifty eight. No. I don't know, but okay. I am no not sure. Shakira, Shakira, no. Shakira is one fifty five. Really? Really? Yeah. And PK maybe one ninety. Yeah, a meter and a half. So, Caroline, how, how tall are you? 161. You're 161. It's taller than me. Huh? I mean, it's taller than Shakira, too. Just three. <laughs> yeah, you look taller. Yeah. Really? <laughs> so, yeah, why basketball? Sure, can I tell you something about it? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I just. Mad. You look chubby. It's short, sorry, it's short. 
Chubby? Chubby? Yeah, I'm chubby. I'm getting. No, you are not chubby, but you uh, you look like short. No, I don't know. I look but short. You are tall. Yeah. Yeah, I'm one seventy one seventy four. Oh, you are tall. Yeah, and my kid, my son is like this tall. You know, and he's twelve. Wow. He's twelve. Imagine yes. when he. The last time we see him and that. Like, he went to say see you, and we see we saw him. Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's he's one sixty. He's one sixty, and he's he's twelve years old. That's crazy. Okay, so why why basketball? What happened? What do you regret? Oh, I used to be better in basketball than soccer, but. Then I have some problems with my health, and and I must. You stop. I yes, stop because the doctors tell me, oh, and even uh, be careful with my ears, ears, no, with ears. Your ears? Yes, ears. That's and weird. and something and something else. Okay, I used to play basketball at high school too. I used to love that. It was so exciting. We used to go yeah. playing against against other institutions. You know, it was amazing. Good good memories. I I regret I regret um, I didn't continue to with that. Very good a good experience. Okay. Keep it up. I regret something when I was a child in school. I I have my little problem with a like, uh, uh, classmate. Um, he uh, I don't know how to say is uh, talk to me in a bad way, and I was angry and take the ball and hit uh, her face with the ball. <laughs> Her or his? His. His face. Oh. Yeah, his face. Oh my God. Oh. No, what, what's up? Oh, yeah, what's up? Oh, yeah. what's up? Oh, yeah. what's up? No, 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 Sorry. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, well, it was a boy. That's okay. Uh, it's okay. We're well, fine. I, I have a little bit, but um, two or five years ago, I talked with, with him and is is was funny because they remember that part. No, was a problem. Oh my god, that was crazy. Okay, did you tell him? Hey, I'm sorry, man. I really regret. I yeah, yeah, yeah. You I on your face. Oh my god, you got the face still with the ball. You know, I, I tell him that I don't <laughs> apologize. Okay, I can see some marks on your face still. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, your face was red. Oh my god. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> two minutes. Two minutes. Yes. This is for me to the red. Yeah, mm -hmm. with you. I should have done more exercise before when I was a teenager. When I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. Teenager, yes. A, a teenager, when I was a teenager. A teenager. And I should have learned to cook when I was child too, or teenager. Okay, okay. Okay, I should, I should have, I should have had. Hmm, I should have had. I should have done. I should have done more exercise. I should have exercised <laughs> more. Excellent. Okay, let's get this done. Let's go back. Thank you. 
difficult, right? Regret, remorse in our life is like, hmm. it's like a little thorn. It's a little thorn that we continue carrying in our lives, right? Every rose has its thorn, right? We, we all have thorns in our lives that, you know, each hurt sometimes, but it's good to let go. So let's see, uh, Caroline, what's your favorite color, Caroline? I've never asked you. Um, I should have played sports when I was a child. I should have played sports when I was a child. Should have. Remember that the verb is in past participle, right? I should have played. Okay, give played. me one. Give, give me one sentence of your regret. Thank you, Caroline. What's your favorite color? Or select somebody, Caroline. Uh, green. Thank you, Andres. Uh, I have the same remorse than Ada. I should, I should, I should, study, should have studied English before in my life. You're doing mm. it now. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I'll reply. I will reply to you. Okay. Who's next, Andres? Thank you. Next is Suleyma. Suleyma. Hello. Mm -hmm. Just say one sentence using the perfect models. What do you regret? Uh, um, I should I should learn to swim in my childhood. You're still on time. No. Why? Are you afraid? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. That's easy. I almost, I almost okay. died in Quatepec wow. Lake when I was 18. Oh my God, really? Yeah. That, ha that happened to a friend of mine. I'm from Santa Ana, so I know. I know you're feeling. Um, it's rough. I can, I can jump uh, to the pool. So I, I. I'm afraid when I when I try to learn. Okay. You need a Pedro Infante to teach you. <laughs> you remember the movie? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, and you will go like, I'm drowning, I'm drowning. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who is next, Suleyma? Um, let me see. Um, uh, Jose? Jose. Josué. Josué. Alberto. Uh, ten years ago, I finished a technical career. I had. I had an opportunity to work, and I wouldn't finish. My my career is in is a regret that I have because now I I still uh, started, but in a, it's a different uh, career. Mm, so you should. I uh, have to uh, start um, all over. Yeah. I had to start all over. Listen, I had to start all over. So we can start de nuevo. I had. To I had to start all over. All over. Yeah. Um, so that's a very good sentence i had to start all over oh, i had to start all over i had to start all over start up start up start all over good thank you well it's never too late right i'm i'm becoming 40 next month well in january i'm becoming 40 on in january and i'm planning to continue with the university whatever it's okay. Can you imagine me graduating on 50? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. 
I can die now. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. I can. I just hey. remember Robin Williams. Remember Robin Williams and that movie, Jack? Thank you. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, thank you. Jose Alberto stood up. Luis Ernesto, let's move on with you. What do you regret? Sorry, teacher, I'm working right now. Um, yeah, yeah, today is the, the, the close of the month. We are working in that. Oh, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Um, I think that the, my most regret is like uh, Suleyma says, um, I can swim, oh. uh, I, I never, learned i have never learned because um, i am scared to the <laughs> to the water uh, is is the same story like as lema i almost how do you how do you say casi me ahogo I almost get drowned uh, yeah. Yeah, almost ready. get drowned drown, drown. Drown. when i was uh, 15 um, in the Ilopango Lake, I I, I lived uh, near to the Ilopango Lake, and I I usually I used to go when I was a teenager. And that's why I never um, learned to to swim because I was scared. And around three years ago, I try to, to learn again, but it is very difficult. <laughs> mm. the, the first thing I think I, I need to, to change my mind and forget about the bad experience and, and just try it. That's the first step. That's yep. totally right. Okay. Yep, that. Thank you, that was good. Yeah, that, that must be a very scary feeling that you're getting drowned, drowned. You almost get drowned. It's gonna be very scary. Yeah, I'm afraid of water. I'm afraid of water. I'm afraid of swimming. But your real fear is not water, it's getting drowned. It's getting drowned. That's the fear. Okay, one more. Just one more. <laughs> Irene. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. I didn't okay. hear you. Excuse me. I know. It's okay. What is your Biggest regret. Hey, my biggest regret is um, I should have learned English when I was child. Okay, and I should and I should have um, tried to try to to learn drive bike bicycle, but I could I couldn't I can't I can't. I couldn't. I was. You can't now. Yes, I can't now because when I was child, my father didn't let me permission for try to do it, and now I can't. My father didn't allow me to try. Okay, he said it was for boys. Yes, <laughs> always say that. That's a typical mistake. Okay. Awesome, thank you guys. So you see, it's very easy. Uh, try to use this more often. So you get the hand of it, so you can get the hand of it. What is the meaning of get the hand of it, Fernando? What, what word? Uh, pay attention. <laughs> Go ahead, is the meaning of get the hand of it. Get the hand of it. Get the hand of it. William? William is just laughing because I'm asking you. How, how do you spell the, the last word? Ah, come on. Nah, not Google. Don't go to Google. Who remembers? Who remembers? What's the meaning of get the hand of it? Agarrar la onda. Yeah. 
la onda de algo. You'll get the hand of it. Don't worry, you will get the hand of English. You will get the hand of English someday. It's not difficult. Just practice, practice, get the hand of it. Okay. And yes, you can say, you can tell someone, hey, get the hand of it. Come on, let's get the hand of it. Let's get along. Let's get along with the people here. Enjoy the party. Come on. Let's go. Okay, so tonight, oh, well, yesterday, we had a conversation about uncertainty. And it was in, in context, in the context of this conversation, right? As far as I know, to the best of my knowledge, what else do you know how to express uncertainty? Hey, Andres, Andres, do you remember, do you remember Rosa, the girl from, from our neighbor, our neighbor Rosa? No, you don't remember Rosa? No, she, she was beautiful. She had long, straight, black hair, black eyes. She was brunette. You remember her? She was our neighbor. I don't remember her. I think she got married, you know. You can remember. She had she had three kids, you know. I, I'm I'm pretty sure. That's what I heard. That's what I heard that she had three three kids. You, you don't remember. Okay. Probably you are wrong, teacher. Do you think I'm wrong? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Why? Do you know her? Uh possibly. Possibly? Yeah. Yeah, most likely we are talking about the same person, right? How how how, how is she? Do you know? Rosa with three kids. No. Uh, apparently, uh, I uh, know a girl with that description. So, but I'm not sure. You're not sure. Mm -hmm. hmm. I would like to see her again. You know, I was in love with her. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she remembers me. And but I, I I don't know I don't know what she will say if she would have seen me if she would were to see me if she were to see me what would she say because I'm a little bit fat now a little bit funny. like Mary and Mary yes I mean but I'm still handsome I think <laughs> <laughs> okay that's uncertainty thank you Soleima thank you Andres for following me okay how do you say say la corriente haha okay follow me right andres no <laughs> what andres knows andres knows <laughs> how do you say yeah. la corriente alguien come on follow the lead get get the hand of the hand of it yeah that's kind of it too yeah but you kind of say like hey uh, follow the lead follow the lead Something that kids use a lot in the States is monkey see, monkey do. And they go like, hey, monkey see, monkey do. Monkey see, monkey do. You got it? They go, hey, see me la corriente. Right? Monkey see, monkey do. Okay? So, Teacher, how, do you, how do you say guiñar el ojo? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Como el meme. Oh, my God. Glimpse, glimpse, glimpse. Winky. Winky. Blink, blink. Wink. Winky, winky, right? Winky. Wink. 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 W-I-N-K. Yeah. Wink. Hello, me. <laughs> okay. Very good. Let's keep going. So this is what you use to express uncertainty. We kind of we kind of talked about this. I I would like to say that, you know, we, we talked about this. Okay, um, to the best of my knowledge, we did. Do you remember? I'm not so sure about it. What about you, William? Did you do this? <laughs> I 
I, I Sorry, do you remember we, we started this before? Expressions of uncertainty? No? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, kind of, right? Kind of. We, we talked yeah. about yeah. No, we talked about certainty. I send you a link uh, oh. or a website with all of them, uncertainty, certainty, and different terms that you could use. I'll send it to you again. Now, <clears throat> expressions of certainty are used when you need to say that you are not certain about something. Something mm -hmm. or that something. Keep going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, keep reading, William. Good job. That's something. Oh, okay. may... Or that something may or may what? Something may or may not be true. Or when you have incomplete knowledge about a situation. 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 Okay. Okay, so for example. Try to explain to me the meaning of this word without using Spanish. I'm spelling it, I'm sorry. The action to open your mouth when you are exhausting. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty right? sure. Positive? Hmm. It's very unlikely for Alexander to, to be wrong, right? It's very unlikely for Alexander to be wrong on his answers. Okay. I doubt, I doubt Fernando will be wrong. I doubt Fernando will be wrong about this. Okay, so do you have questions with these expressions of uncertainty? questions look at the um well just two things two things that i would like to frame out that i would like to frame in and we should say underscore i would like to underline hmm. cross out i would like to cross out the use of comma okay use a comma after the expressions of uncertainty when they precede a clause. So for example, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, comma, but the current financial situation may lead to layoffs, may lead to layoffs, okay? Not to my knowledge, comma, I think they are delayed, okay? What is a clause? Exactly. Yes. A sentence by itself. Uh, super rápido. ¿Ya se acuerdan que vimos cláusulas dependientes e independientes? Mm -hmm. Tu libro le está llamando cláusula en este ejemplo a una cláusula dependiente o independiente. Dependiente. Dependiente. Dependent. Mm. Dependent. Ah, no. I think I'm, I think they're delayed. Uh, it's independent. Yeah. yeah. I can just, just, sort of just think about it. Is it depending on another sentence or it makes sense? It makes sense, right? Okay. Okay, as far as I know, can I say most companies selling goods are a three third party logistics for at least some domestic function. Yeah, these are independent clauses. Okay. Now that's after uh, expressing uncertainty when there is a clause in front. Let's look at the other example. Um, I doubt, and it's very unlikely, do not need to be followed, followed by a comma. You can say, I doubt it is a good idea to hire a 3PL if you need to control the safety of your company's shipments. There's no comma. Okay. 
teacher, do I have to read like that if there is no punctuation? What do you think? What do you think? Do you have to read everything without any comma, Yuri? You could. You could? Yeah. You just have to breathe. <laughs> no. The, no. Yuri? In the news? In yeah. the news, what? They read like that. And today we are here to present to you the good news. Uh, there was a crash in 75th Avenue North today in the evening. So three people died and two of them died of asphyxia. The other guy actually was burned due to the flames that came out of the vehicle. We are going now live with Yuri, who is there in the accident. Yuri. That's crazy, right? They go with a teleprompter, teleprompter, no commas, no dots. Okay, I got your point. So there's no, um, well, there's no comma for these two guys. I doubt, it's very unlikely, I doubt. So I have an activity for you. I'm gonna do the attendance really quick so we can just focus. We can focus on, on the activity. Do you have questions? Do you have any questions? No? Okay. Good. Let's go with exercise five before I do the attendance. This is very easy. Easy. Okay. You have exercise five on your book, and this is page 22. Go to page 22 on your workbook so you can do this exercise. Just circle the correct expressions. Be careful with the commas, okay? Exercise five, page 22. Okay, good. Let's get this rolling, let's go. First sentence is, I would like to say this. We have to choose for certain or it's very likely. But we may need to change our distri distributors. So for certain or it's very likely. Mm. I think it's for certain. I would like to say B for certain, but I would want to change this to story. Okay. What do you think? Or do you agree or, or I don't know? B for certain. For certain. For certain. Yes. I would like to say yeah, this for certain. Because we have a, a comma, right? Yes. Okay. What do you think, Jose Antonio? I agree. Okay. For certain. Okay. Uh, number two. Uh, do you want to read, Ada? Did the manager finish evaluating the 3 p.m. available, not in the my generalist, uh, not my no more, not to my knowledge, 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 knowledge. knowledge. Uh -huh. mm, I think it's the second, not to my knowledge, to my to not my knowledge, to uh, my not, knowledge, not not. 
GPOs available, not in my knowledge, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. No, in my knowledge. Yes, no, no, not in my knowledge too. Not to my um, this one. Yeah. Next. I doubt it. I doubt. I doubt it. Okay. I doubt. Four. As far as now. Come and search when the pressure of clouds. Not to my knowledge. Mm. As hasta donde yo sé, no. As hasta donde yo sé para una pequeña compañía que quiera. Pequeña compañía que requiere la respuesta. No, no tiene sentido si no. no. Mm -mm. It's very unlikely, unlikely. Para, mm -hmm. uh -huh. because there isn't a coma, I think, mm -hmm. I guess. Yes. Mm -hmm. Not a Today. Hello, teacher. Hello. What's up? We are working with the exercise number five. I know, that's yeah. why I'm just listening to you, just waiting. Okay. Give your opinion. Um, okay. I'm thinking about I'm the number three. I, I think is I doubt it it is effective to hire more than one third party logistic service. The three is for me is I don't down down down. down. <laughs> it is saying the 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 song. Not down. Wendy, <laughs> Wendy, we're staying tonight. Hi. In my house, teacher, but it's my business. <laughs> no, we are staying tonight for 10 minutes. Ah, okay, teacher. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, teacher. Yeah. Okay. For me, number four, not to my knowledge. Not to my knowledge. 
thing is the, the best of my knowledge. Mm -hmm. First one or second one? Right. Number four. Yeah, like to the best of my knowledge, we mm -hmm. have increased customer satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Miss Curry, unlikely. Do you agree, Chris, or disagree? Yes, I agree with, with number four. To the best of my knowledge, we have increased it. customer satisfaction. Yes. It's a second, it's a first one. Yes. What do you think, teacher? Yeah. Number one, to the best of my knowledge, we have increased customer satisfaction. To the best of my knowledge. The best of my knowledge. The best. It's like saying, as far yeah. as I know. And that was a run, right? Unlikely. Oh, last one. It's very That's unlikely. Fine. For a small company to require logistics global services. As far as I know, for as far as I know, for a small company. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. What do you think? As far as I know, for a small company to require logistics global service. Maybe that, will, that wouldn't make very sense. Likely. It's very unlikely. For a small company, es muy poco probable mm -hmm. para una compañía pequeña uh, to require logistic global services. El otro es, as far as I know, uh, hasta donde hasta yo donde sé, se ve. hasta mm -hmm. donde yo sé, uh -huh, para una pequeña compañía requerir servicios globales de logística, no tiene sentido, ¿verdad? ¿Qué, qué pasa? Mm -hmm. Donde tú sabes. Ok. <laughs> That's the point. Yo, let's take it back. Okay, let's proceed with the attendance. I'm just waiting for the rest of us. Do you think you're ready for advanced? No. Not yet, teacher. Why? Yes. To yes. the best of my knowledge, as far as I know. Don't be afraid to fail. As far as I know, we're going to intermediate five, teacher, not advanced. <laughs> so are you ready for advanced? Uncertainty. Yes. Oh, Just Fernando. I mean, Alexander is ready. Okay. I'm gonna be positive, guys. Yes, we're ready. Okay. <laughs> Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. You, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Vladimir Portillo Chávez. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. José Alberto Sales Benítez. Present. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present. Luis Ernesto Romero Algueta. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Sandra Patricia Elizabeth Sorto Romero. Sandra Elizabeth present. 
What did I say? Santa Patricia, right? Sandra, Sandra Lisa, man. Oh my God, sorry. Santo Romero. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. This lecture. Okay, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank God I didn't say William Patricia right there. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Suleyma Ivonne yeah. Moreno de Fantes. Present. Thank you. And I have Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Yo no seren en venta arriba, Salca. Present. Thank you. Okay. Hey, the company that I'm working for is giving $1,200 for you to go and work. It's amazing, right? How things change nowadays. Okay, so for our next topic, I send you um, a link at the beginning of this class and where you can find multiple expressions for expressing certainty and uncertainty um, in English. Uh, for example, asking for certainty, you can say, are you sure? Are you sure about it? Okay. Expressing certainty, yes, I'm certain. I'm absolutely sure. Of course, I'm positive and so on. There are not too many, but they have a play button. And if you click on it, you will see, you will hear the different options. So I'm going to, just gonna split you uh, so you can practice. But the way you're gonna practice is very simple. Necesito que creen una historia, una conversación entre ustedes, ocupando este tipo de expresiones, okay? So it's like, Fernando, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Oh, good, good, okay. Hey, you know what? I think my ex-girlfriend is pregnant. Are you sure? I don't know. But, but what? what's the matter? I mean, it's true, sure. Right, what's the matter? She's your ex. I know, but what, are you in doubt? Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know, what, sh what should I do? No, you should call her, I don't, we don't talk. How do you know? Uh, her mother told me, you still talk to the mother and she's your ex and you're married? Oh my God. I'm just giving you an example, okay? Hey, um, Carol, Caroline. Yeah. Um, I think I think you're getting fired this month. You're getting fired I'm this fired. month. I think I think I heard I heard the boss the boss saying Carolina is leaving the company. And I don't know if it was you or the other Carolina. I don't know. Maybe a, a other Carolina. Another Caroline, I think. Yes. Um, I... I don't know. How does the boss, the boss calls you Carolina or Caroline or Coraline? Carol? Mm -hmm. Maybe you are wrong. Uh, my boss called me Yvette, not Caroline. Oh, so it wasn't you. <gasps> so shh, don't tell. Don't tell Carolina. Yes, please. Get the secret. <laughs> But she's the, she's the new girl, right? The new gar the new girl. Yes, not me. Okay, so, yeah, you like me. The other girl is like, uh, you know. Yes, yeah, I, it is absolutely. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. So just pretend a work situation if you want. Let's make it professional, okay? But let's practice words of uncertainty and certainty the ones that i'm sending you you can find yours as well do a little research with your group to get more vocabulary okay let's get this going and you're going to read or act your conversation in front of your classmates right it's a role play let's do it
Yeah, vacations. Okay. I heard I heard that uh the vacation starts on December 17. Uh for but for the class for the classes. No, no for classes. For your job? Yeah, from the from my work. I don't know. We finish we will finish uh the model on December 17 too. Yes, the same day. Oh but I have to work until December 23, 23. 23? Yes. Wow. For one week? Or how 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 many days? For vacation, only seven, 10 days on Christmas. 10 days. I start January 3rd. Um, Are you sure? Yes. But only 10 days? Only 10 days. Uh, it's always only 10 days. Well, vacation is vacation, so. And we will have or bonus, and it's a good news. Christmas bonus. Yeah, mm. oh, Christmas bonus. Okay, and um, it can be, we can, it can be about uh, a Christmas event, it can be like, yes, but if you if you think about it, you, for example, you have a cafeteria and you are not a chef. This is a good problem. You have, a, a, you have a restaurant and you are not the chef. Voy a escribirlo. I'm going to write. Writing. Like, I hear Irene has success. <laughs> in her restaurant, as far as I know. But we, 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 we can, uh, we have to make the introduction first. We have to make the introduction first about this one. And the, okay. item, the item will be the restaurant. Yeah, this is Ca this Caroline and Caroline and Edwin. Okay, please, once upon a time. Now, guys, I'm, I'm gonna go for some water, okay? If you excuse me. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Caroline. Did you hear Caroline is going to go to the Machu Picchu, Peru on uh, next Christmas event, event season? And say it's very unlikely for for Caroline because she has a lot of money. What is the money? <laughs> I don't.
Unlikely. Did you are error? Is here, here. Without here. N. H E E eight R R. Irene. Hi, see here. Uh -huh. E A R N. Yeah. H E A R. Mm -hmm. Without N. And H at the beginning. H, yeah. Did you hear Carolina is going, going to, is gonna. Did you hear is going to go to Machu Picchu next week? Entonces, Irene, ahí no puede ser Carolina, entonces. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, tienes razón. Usted puede ser, entonces. Ah, oh, vaya, está bien, está bien, está bien. Irene. Did you hear Irene? Did you hear Irene is going to go much to Machu next Christmas season? It's very unlikely. For <laughs> here. <laughs> because. Uh, she has, she has an, enough money. And they had all on. ¿Y qué significa it's very unlikely? Entonces, it's very es, unlikely. Es muy probable, no significa es muy probable. No, pues no. The opposite. The opposite. Hmm. Es muy poco probable. Unlikely, poco probable. Ah, eh, ok, es muy poco probable. And because she. No, she has. Uh -huh. Ok. She has no, no money. She has uh, money. Ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. And then, Caroline, what to say? Pero. But, uh, but but the way is different. Uh -huh. uh -huh, correct. But the way, by the way, you have the gift list. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I said, oh, have you made a gift list by the way? Uh -huh, by the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it's at, at oh. first. By the way, if okay. you need to connect them okay by the way okay but uh, I don't stay yeah here. teacher but this context is not the same right for certain and by the way yeah they're not the same for certain is you're sure about something by the way is oh por cierto Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. Thanks, uh, Chair Mark. Uh -huh. uh -huh, by the way. Teacher, I don't know when you insert uh, expression. Wendy. Do you know where to put the expression? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just the way they did. In that case, by the way, should have a comma, don't you think? By the way. By the way, comma. Do you have a good? 
Uh -huh. You have a gift list. Have to. Is that a question? Have you uh... asked? <laughs> yes, is the. Wendy, comma, no, Wendy, hello, comma, how are you? Question mark. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm ready, but still don't Wendy. know what the, what the best gift for my son is. What is? You can include the is at the end. Yeah. Okay, but I still don't know what the best gift for my son is. By the way, do you have a gift list? By the way, do you have a gift list? Is the question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yes. And, yeah, and, for... and... but. You know what I I found I found a good a good toy for your daughter for certain. No. no. Uh, I found I found repeat please. <laughs> I found a good cater because it was at the first time. Okay. Uh, do you remember the 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 first wave? He mm -hmm. get it. He get it. Um, it was so hard because uh, he lose he lose lost. all. He what? He lost. He lost the everything. everything. And but he got he got twice. But he he don't want to to want to get vaccines. But do you think uh, this virus appear in in China, or it was older than? It was more began maybe many years ago, or maybe in the in the nineteen at the nineteen in the nineties or in the nineteenth okay. in the nineteenth century. Okay. No, twenty. Uh, twenty. Oh, you mean twenty nineteen? Twenty nineteen. Yeah. Twenty nineteen. Because um, I I think my wife get it in 2019. Got it. I really got it. I just because it was a uh, this prescript the, the prescription was um, pulmonia atypica, atypica. Atypica pneumonia. A, atypica pneumonia. 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 Typical pneumonia. Wow. Mm hmm. And she she lost uh, fifteen weight. Fifteen pounds. Twenty pounds, um, Jensen. Fifty pounds, and it was complicated because when she visited the doctor, visited. when she visited, uh, the doctor didn't recognize any any anything in her body. They, they, oh, they couldn't recognize the sickness. Any, any effect because uh, the the high temperature just appear at the night. Mm. And all my daughters, my daughters get got it too, but I don't remember if I got it. That way, I don't know <laughs> if going to get it. <laughs> The doctor no no test for COVID. Your wife? No, no, because in that time anyone knows. At that time, nobody knew. Nobody knew about COVID. About about COVID. For the cost. <laughs> no, there was there were no tests. He's talking mm -hmm. about he's talking about November or October mm -hmm. what twenty nineteen. Yes. 2019. In that moment, anyone knew. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. Well, teacher, the question for you is 
What is the protest for the vacu vacu uh, vaccination? Come again? The, uh, vaccination in the Salvador del Mundo. <laughs> but, I'm sorry. There's a... I saw a crazy girl speaking about the, he was judío, Jewish, 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 and she talked about many conspiration theories. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's famous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, vaccination. Okay. Vaccination. So, do you have your do you have your role play prepared? Are you ready? For sure. Certainty, certainly. No, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Try to prepare something. You have to prepare a conversation. Okay. I don't want to wear less money. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Keep going. I'm not here. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you said that we need to write our conversation, teacher. Yeah. Uh, you, you're done? We have no, really. many ideas, but now we are writing. Oh, okay. Keep going. I'm not here. Okay. Thank you. I'm okay. just waiting. So I'll give you five minutes to finish. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. Going to share that. Ay, sí, qué bonito quedó. In is in, in that phrase is better to use us or like. I guess both are correct. I uh, guess you can shame for like. Like you guys, yes. Yes, correct knowledge. knowledge. Teacher, in this case, we are some co-workers that we are working for a company that is about the class. So in this case, we are telling the our new future projects to survive. I'm sorry, my microphone was off. I was, I was just asking you, I mean, my microphone was off, but I was asking you, I didn't get the last word you said. Okay, in this case, we are, uh, we are some co-workers that we are working for a company that is about to close. So in this case, we are, going, we are sharing our new, new future projects to survive. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, the company is about the, the blocks? It's about the plots, the plots, sorry. 
Plus. Oh, clocks. Oh, clocks. Yes, clocks. C, oh. as in Charlie, L, as in Lima, or as in Oscar, S, as in Sam, E, as in Elephant. Oh, about the clothes. Oh, clothes. 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 Yes. Got it. Will be over. We over. No, the company will be over. We'll be running out of business. It will be closed. Yes. Got it. Yeah. The company yes. will be closed. So oh, I got you. I got you. It's a great topic. The company will be closed. Closed. Okay. Cool. By the way, Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. My name is Rafael. How do you spell that, please? Romeo, Alpha, <laughs> Foxtrot, Alpha. Well, actually, you just go like R as in Romeo, Alpha, Foxtrot, Alpha, Echo, Lima. What? Just follow the first letter, okay? Repeat. Just listen to the first letter, okay? Of the word that I'm saying. Okay. R as in Romeo, Romeo. Alpha, Foxtrot, Alpha, Echo, Lima. That's the way I do it. I don't go like R as in Romeo, A as in Alpha. You got it? Yes, I know. Yes, every time to, I, talk to a, I talk to a gringo in the call, that uh -huh. is very rarely, believe me, because they should provide me the, they should give me the email. Oh. I always tell him, could you be so kind to provide me your email spelling using example? <laughs> Phonetic. Oh, really? Like the kindergarten mentioned someone. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I mentioned, yeah. yes, thank you. Yeah, some of them, some of them will brag. You know, they will brag. They will, oh, yes, mm -hmm. sure, it's Juliet, Hotel, Oscar, Nancy, Nancy, Janky, okay? Janky, you got it? Yeah, some of them like to brag, you know, to show up that they are military. I mean, they were on the military. Yeah. Okay. okay. Keep it up. Thank you. So, okay. We'll Johnny, did you include the other? Yes. Johnny, what are you going to uh, tell me? Suppose you are going to. <laughs> One minute. Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Awesome. Yes, teacher. Let's take yes. it back. Okay, let's see who's going first. Let's see. On the first group, we have, they're not here yet. Let's wait. Were you able to make it? Oh, you did it. Yeah. Good. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> oh, for the longest time. Okay, we're back. So first group, we have Andres, Giovanni, Fernando Ernesto, Jose Antonio, Suleyma, Ivonne. Okay. Um, Andres, uh, did you hear that the vacation starts on December 17th this year? Uh, no, I think that it's very unlikely to start that date because we have too much work to do this season. Uh, as far as now, I talk with my friend that work in the other branch, and he said that for this holiday we we be three days. Mm. Sorry, I have. Are, are you issues. sure? <laughs> are you sure that that 
that rumor is true. It's only for your branch. Yes, uh, he said I doubt I doubt it, but I I just hope that we will have more days because three days is 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 a little. I want more days or uh, for holidays. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe uh, it's not true because uh, to the best of my knowledge, all the company had the vacation at, at the same at the same time, but I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know if you uh, know something about about that, uh, Jose. No, I don't know nothing. I think we're not saying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Among us. Serious. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's okay. it. That's it. All. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you very much, guys, for using certainty and uncertainty expressions. Let's go with the second group brought to you by Caroline. Erwin, Irene, and William. Okay. Did you hear Irene is going to go Machu Picchu next Christmas season? Erwin, your microphone. Can you share the information? Hi, Irene. Can you share, please? Yes, you can share. But I, I can do it. Okay, thank you. Again, again. Okay. Did you hear? Did you hear Irene is going to go Machu Picchu next Christmas season? It's very lovely for her because she has no money. As far as, as, as far as I know, she won a lottery. She has a lot of money. Wow, this is amazing. I'm not sure. I think it's true. I would like to invite us for go together and have fun there. I doubt because she goes with her boyfriend. It doesn't matter. Go with them to enjoy Machu Picchu in the next Christmas season. Okay, that's it. Yes, yeah, that's it. Okay, no, 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 no. Keep, keep going, keep going, keep, keep, keep projecting, please. Uh, about the previous group, guys, uh, did you heard? Uh, did you hear? Uh, Sule, did you hear? Hear. Uh, did you hear? And Fernando, as far as I know, as far as I know, as far as I as far as now, uh, as far as I know, as far as I know, as what, far what? as I know, okay, yeah, again, as far as I know, as far as, as I know. far as I know, you got it. Irene is going to go to Machu Picchu. Irene is going to go Machu Picchu. Uh, Irene is going to go to Machu Picchu. Too much a picture. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Did you hear Irene is going to go to Machu Picchu? So it was a reading problem. Okay. Uh, next Christmas season. It's very unlikely for her because she has no money. It's very un unlikely for her. Yeah. As far as I know, she won a lottery ticket. Okay, she won a lottery ticket or she won the lottery. Wow, it's amazing. I'm not sure. What are we missing there? Um, I am not sure. Maybe it's very I think. To the best of my knowledge, oh, we have increased with K, I think. Okay, I, apostrophe, 
I apostrophe M. Yeah. Yeah, apostrophe. Oh, just one, just one. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure, comma, I think, think, Tango Hotel India November Kilo. Think. Mm -hmm. The last one, there you go. It's true. It is true. It is true with apostrophe. Yeah. I, I, and remember, the I is always capitalized. It's not a lowercase I, yeah, it's I for you. It's always capital, yeah. I like to, I like, she invites us. I would like her to invite us. I would like her to invite well, I would like that she invite. Uh, uh, I would like her to invite. Wait, is that all right? Invite, yeah. Us for go or to go together. What do you say, guys? For uh, for go or to go together. What do you mean? For go. Going. Okay, everybody, everybody. Four noun, two verb. So if you say four, it's gonna be a noun. Okay. So you can say, I would yeah. like her to invite us for- To go, to go together. For gathering or to go together. We're going together to go together and have fun there. I doubt it. Object, object, I doubt it. Coma, because she goes with her boyfriend. Uh, here we go. It doesn't, we. It does, and apostrophe T. Apostrophe T. <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter. Go with them to enjoy Machu Picchu in the next verse. What you say? Uh, coma. Uh, no, no, no. I'm getting lost there. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Coma. coma. Mm. Are you giving instruction, Erwin, to Caroline? It doesn't matter. Go with them to enjoy Machu Picchu in the next Christmas season. Like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Go with them. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So then that's okay. Doesn't matter. Go with them. Excellent. Thank you. What else? How many are we missing? Who else is coming to the front? That was group number two. Now we have group number three. Alexander, Robert, Luis, Sandra, Elizabeth, and Wendy. One, two, three. Action. Hello, Wendy. How are you? Are you ready for Christmas? Hi, I'm ready, but I still don't know what is the best gift to my son. By the way, do you have a gift list? No, I don't. But I found a good toy for you, Dara, for some time. Really? It's awesome. Will you accompany me to buy my gift? I still don't know what to give my family and I have no idea of a store to buy. Only this. That's it? Okay. <laughs> Just perfect, very good, Sandra. Would you join me? Sounds better. Sounds better than would you accompany accompany me? Um, okay. Would you join, join would me? You. Mm -hmm. Look. Would you join me? I'm sorry. Would you join me to do some errands? Would you join me to do some errands? Like, me acompañarías para hacer unos mandados? Okay. 
Teacher, earrings is mandados. Earrings. 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 Okay. Mandados, estrictamente. Go pay the electricity bill, water bill. Earrings. Earrings. And last group for tonight, we have Johnny, Josue, Rene, and Jocelyn. Hey, teacher. Okay. Hi, Jose. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Rene. Hello, Jocelyn. Hey, guys. As you know, that will be this will be our last month in our company. I don't have a diploma like you guys. I am thinking to open an only fun account. Jocelyn. To the best of my knowledge, I suggest to show me your photo before posting. We will tell you some advice of uh, your friend. Person 10, you can earn a lot of money, but the top couldn't be a good idea because you should you suggested photo. I doubt it, guys. Okay, that's all. Oh my This God. wasn't an idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. nah. nah. Nah, it's okay. I mean, it's an entrepreneurship. It's an entrepreneurship. You leave it there. Leave it there. Wait. Continue. Continue the presentation. Uh, it's an entrepreneurship. I mean, nowadays, honestly, that's nothing. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of entrepreneurs you know, with their websites, their pictures on TikTok. This is reality. I mean, businesses, businesses are moving to virtual mode. That's true. Hey, show me your grammar. Come on. Thank you, Jose Alberto. Okay, let's see. Hi, Jose Johnny. Hello, Jocelyn. Guys, as you know, this will be your last month in our company. Very good. I, I don't have uh, that don't goes with an apostrophe, right? Don't forget. I don't have a diploma like you guys. I'm thinking to open an account. Okay. And okay, there we go. To be best, to the best of my knowledge, I suggest you to show me your photo. Uh, now, to the best of my knowledge, can somebody translate that expression of uncertainty? To the best of my knowledge. Como por lo que sé. As far as I know. Ah, por lo que sé. Yeah, that, that's applied. That, that's applicable, right? To the best of my knowledge, that's just you to show me your photos before you post them or before posting them. Before posting them. Uh, we will tell you some, uh, we will give you, that's what I wanted to correct. We will give you some advice. You don't tell advices, you give advice. We will give you some advice and you cannot plutalize advice. That's uncountable. We'll give you some advice as your friends, period. For certain, you can earn a lot of Money, a lot of money. Hey, come on, a lot of money, but I doubt a lot of money. But I doubt uh, it. I got lost there. Uh, but I doubt would be a good idea because you should use just the it. But yeah, I, but it, I doubt it. it. But uh -huh. I doubt it. Okay, so for certain you can earn a lot of money, but I doubt it, period. Wouldn't it, are you trying to make a negative question? Wouldn't it be a good idea uh, to, sh to use suggested photographs? I don't know, what were you trying to say there? Would it be a good idea? It will be, it will be a good idea because you should use suggested photographs. 
Yeah, that makes more sense. Help. What? Okay, it will be in their, in their book. Hats off to you. Have a great. Okay. <laughs> okay, great job, guys. That was so simple, right? Do you have questions? Yeah, were there any confusive, uh, confusing um, option to use? Did you find any confusive expression? No? Okay. Okay, as you can see, this is very simple. It's not a difficult topic. Um, what was, and I send you a link, by the way, where you could check more expressions of uncertainty. But I'm curious, what, what were you using before all of these expressions? What were you using to express uncertainty? Were you just saying, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's all, right? Yes, okay, good. Okay, tonight I'm staying with Wendy Patricia Molina Melendez. Melendez, Melendez. Okay, teacher. I told you right before. Okay, so no questions, good. Hey, do you know when are they going to pay the uh, the uh, Christmas bonus? No idea. No idea? From company, as far as I know, from the 7th to the 10th. Between the 7th and the 10th. We received really early the Christmas bonus, but yeah. I don't know. We do too. And do you know how much is it? It's like... Is there any standard in El Salvador for Christmas bonus? No. Hmm. Are you sure? No, it's completely <laughs> what? salary. A completely salary. Uh, yeah. A full, a full salary. A full salary. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Salary. A full? By full a month. full monthly salary. Yeah. Yeah. A full monthly salary because we pay by month or by 15 days. Wait, but that's your case. So wait, if I'm making 700 a month, I'm getting 700. All right. Yes. No, it's you just will. the salary of the 15th days. No, it's, no, it's eight. Around eight. Are you kidding me? December 8th. Oh, no, no, no. That's the dates, Alexander. Yeah, eight to eight to the twelfth. Yuri, yeah. someone. Lawyers. The the average, right, is thirty thirty percent. If you have one in three years working in your company for you your salary. One in three years. We need a lawyer here to clarify this point. Are you sure? I saw a video. <laughs> on TikTok. <laughs> for the, it is okay. in base for the, the time. For the one and three years is uh, the half the your salary. Okay. Repeat days. from one to three years. Yes. From one half okay. from two years. How do you say um oh my god this word you say tenure. I just remember in English, not in Spanish, I'm sorry. So you say tenure. So repeat it, Irwin, from one to three years tenure. From one to three years tenure. Tenure. That's like tenures. the time that you have in the company. Ah, okay. Yeah, for one to three years tenure. Okay. Okay. They they get paid how much? They the half, the half. How? Feet, feet, Fifteen half. days. Fifteen days. Fifteen days. Yes. Fifteen days. Yeah. And after the third year, four, five, six. The three to 10. 14 to 10 is um, 10, 19. 19. And 19 days. Yeah, 19 yeah. days. And 10. 10 years and more. Uh huh. And, and more is uh, 21 days. Mm, I think they, is that still? The law? Yeah, I do the road. 
to, to the payroll? Yeah. To the best of my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. According. To... Okay. Who said Hello? I do? Who said I do the payroll? <laughs> Who was it? Luis. Luis, right? No. William. William, you do the payroll, William. Yeah. <laughs> Where are your glasses? You don't wear glasses? I don't need them. <laughs> Good. Good boys. Thank you very much, girls and boys. I'm gonna just do the attendance and I'm staying with Mrs. Wynn. Okay, just a minute. Sorry guys, I think I'm a little bit tired. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. We're almost done. Ana Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Open teacher, good night. Good night, Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher, good, good night. Good night, Carolina Yvette Romero Avellino. Present, good night. Good night, Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas, Irene Susana Cuero Avellino. Present, good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Jose Antonio Cubias Hernandez. Present, Good night. Josué Alberto Salas Benitez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, Yuri. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. He's there. He was working. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. No. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Mañorellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present, good night. Good night, Sandra. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Suleyma Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present, teacher, good night. Good night, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present, good night. Good night, and Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, good night. Good night, Joss. Bye bye, guys. Have some rest. Hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. I hear, sorry, my windows is back. It's and I can't uh, say present. <laughs> Wait, but you said your windows is back? Uh, no, window is gone. It's gone? It's gone, yes. Hey, it's you are not, you are not an oyente. Ah, the last uh, module. Yes, maybe I don't. Uh, I haven't. Yes, teacher, I have a problem <laughs> with my my con conjugation. Maybe it's correct. I don't conjugation. know. Conjugation, like your yeah. conjugation. Conjugation of times and uh, the connection to the uh, the. The words. I don't know why. Maybe my basis is correct. I don't know. Uh, it's done. It's not good. I don't know uh, how. I, I don't know. Como mejorarlo, teacher. How can I improve it? Yes. Nosotros estado en una sesión uno uno antes. Uh, no. Okay. And yo usualmente en las primeras sesiones siempre hago dos preguntas. La primera es que si ya había practicado, um, si había aprendido inglés antes. Uh, sí, teacher. Eh, just Estuve bastante tiempo en inglés. El problema ha sido que siempre he estado quizás muy llena de actividades. 
eh, in, o sea, estoy en la clase, pero ya no sigo practicando. Por ejemplo, cuando estaba en la universidad, eh, estaba estudiando mi especialización de la universidad y a la par llevaba inglés. Entonces no me quedaba mucho tiempo, o sea, siempre seguí estudiando. Ahora, bueno, después de eso, pasé a voluntariado en la Cruz Roja y todo eso. Entonces estaba siempre llena de muchas actividades. Ahora en el trabajo. Entonces siento que, que yo, yo comprendo los temas y yo entiendo lo que se dice. Pero como no lo practico o las pequeñas palabras para unir, eh, Ahí me quedo como que tambaleando. Entonces. ¿Qué estoy haciendo para mejorar eso? Ajá. Esa es la segunda pregunta. Uh, aparte de recibir las clases, las dos horas de clase, con toda la, uh, la distracción y todo, que es una hora y media prácticamente. Uh -huh. uh, ¿Qué más hago aparte de recibir las clases? Solamente eso. Para practicar el inglés solamente eso, teacher. Es mentira que... Bueno, en la plataforma que la hago a conciencia. Trato de hacer la conciencia. Pero a veces son ejercicios que ya hicimos en la clase. Entonces solamente los chequeo que, que estén correctos. Pero más... ¿Alguna vez se ha puesto a escribir en inglés? No, no. No, escribir, no, escribir. Solamente okay. escuchar, escuchar música, pero igual no. Ah, y ahora últimamente lo que estoy haciendo es que estoy viendo videos en YouTube y no les pongo los subtítulos. Lo que trato de escucharlo, familiarizarme con las palabras y después le pongo subtítulos en inglés, no en español. Mm. Entonces, mm. Pero siento que soy bien adelantada, teacher, y siento que no, o sea, sí he aprendido un montón, porque he aprendido bastante, pero no puedo como que soltarlo o, o, o incluso conjugar oraciones completas. Yo sé que tengo que tener errores, pero, pero está la dificultad. Vaya, ¿y quién le dijo Wendy que usted se equivoca? ¿O que está haciendo mal las cosas? ¿Quién se...? Ay, <risa> Vaya. Para no... Uh, para no equivocarse uno. Eh, hay que volver a nacer y ser como un niño. ¿no? ¿Eh? <risa> en serio. Eh, para no equivocarse, ¿qué se hace? No se va a hacer perfecto, pero... Uno puede... Corregir un error eh, es tan fácil como la repetición constante de su corrección. O sea, mm -hmm. yo voy a llevar a cabo la misma acción una y otra vez hasta asegurarme de no volver a cometer ese error. El problema de uno de ser humano es que hacemos todo lo contrario. Mira, que no sé, ya no pasas por ahí, no decía la mamá. Volví a pasar. Okay. Nunca tomamos acciones preventivas, un rótulo que dijera. Ya no pasará por aquí. ¿Ya? Entonces, ¿cómo hacemos? Y eso funciona y es aplicable en todo en la vida. Primero me puedo disciplinar, organizarme, poner al menos cinco alarmas. Si soy burro y de verdad, como así, me la palabra. Ya, ya me conozco. Y eso es lo primero. Ya me conozco. Ya. Hacer una introspección y decir, bueno. ¿Será que me creo la gran cosa? ¿Me siento o me creo demasiado humilde? ¿Me la creo algo humilde? O ahí uno se puede llegar a conocer. Ya me conozco. Lo más común es, ay, soy perezoso soy medio. Ah, pues, no, hombre, me voy a decir primero. ¿A uh -huh. qué hora yo, Wendy Patricia de Los Ángeles, me puedo sentar? Una hora todos los días. O media. Bueno, si de verdad quiero aprender, quiero avanzar súper rápido. Una hora todos los días después de la clase, ¿será que después de la clase? Sí, porque durante la clase no voy a estar haciendo esto, ¿verdad? Voy a poner atención, voy a practicar. Estas dos horas de la clase son estrictamente para hablar, les he dicho. ¿Por qué? Porque en teoría se supone que esto ustedes ya lo conocen. Hacer una estructura positiva, negativa o de pregunta, ya lo tendrían que manejar. 
Ok, no lo tengo todavía, teacher, es mentira. Va. Entonces voy a agarrar cinco verbos, cinco nuevas palabras todos los días. En primer lugar, como ya me disciplina y ya me organice mi tiempo, también compré un cuaderno de espiral bien chivo. Le, le quité la caja de colores al niño. <risa> o los lapiceros de colores chivos que tanto me pidió y son míos ahora. No importa. ¿Qué voy a hacer, teacher? Lo que el teacher hizo desde los siete años. Empezó a ver a su alrededor y se empezó a preguntar como que era loco. ¿Qué estoy comiendo? ¿Qué estoy haciendo? ¿Qué voy a hacer? Etcétera. Uh -huh. Agarré vocabulario, ahora ya se veía como que hacía horario. Y trabajar, descubrí que esas dos cosas iban relacionadas. Y entendí que mi cerebro yo no lo puedo forzar a que se grabe sin cuerpos todos los días. Entonces, voy despacio. ¿Ok? Pero entendí que mi cerebro es muy inteligente. Y ese es el grave problema. Por eso yo no lo puedo forzar que me agarre verbos fuera de contexto. Entonces, le doy el contexto y le doy colores porque me encantan los colores. Me encantan los colores. Y le vale lo demás, se va a grabar los colores. Así. ¿Ok? Entonces, empiezo. Me está costando, teacher, el presente simple. Se me olvida agregar la S al verbo. Ok. Reviso la gramática y empiezo. Subject, verb, complement. That's positive. Luego, negative. Verb, ¿cómo es? Subject, auxiliary, okay. verb, complement. Y ahí voy. Primer día hice cinco verbos con sus palabras relacionadas. Positivo, negativo, pregunta. ¿Ya? Y así voy hasta llegar al quinto. Me quedo solo con eso, teacher. No, revisemos, a ver. Voy a meter eso en el traductor de Google que he descargado en mi celular o en la compu. Y voy a dar play, le voy a dar play a ver cómo se oye. Y repito. Como se oye, y repito. Última prueba, a ver, dice, you travel by train on Sundays. Y luego Wendy dijo, you travel by train on Sundays. <gasps> ok. A ver, me voy a grabar, dice Wendy. El celular se graba y le da play al traductor de Google y al celular al mismo tiempo y dice, you travel by train on Sundays. Yo <gasps> igual, y lo logré. ¿Ya? Uh -huh. Se llama autocorrección. Usted no necesita un profesor. Usted lo que necesita es alguien que, que la quiera, que la adore con todo su corazón. O sea, usted mismo. <risa> hey. Por ejemplo, vaya. Eh, no sé. ¿Cómo? Por ejemplo, el presente simple. Vaya. Afianzo bien el presente simple, por decir así, va. Simple. Y luego, eh, cuando yo siento, ya me siento un poco más segura, ya puedo, eh, ya puedo este, organizar y estructurar las ideas. Mente, la, ajá, correcto, las ideas y, y hacerlas una oración ya uh -huh. con su parte y todo. Eh, ¿Qué es lo segundo? O, ¿O qué otra? ¿O cuál es el siguiente tema para ir así como a que eso está vamos, acá? eso vamos. Entonces ya agarré, por eso, me disciplino, me organizo. Lunes, presente simple. Martes, pasado simple. Miércoles. Lo, yo voy viendo, me pongo, hay 13 tiempos gramaticales básicos. Entonces yo, Wendy, agarro el cuaderno y me digo, bueno, el lunes toca comer presente simple. El martes toca comer pasado simple. Es una dieta, Wendy. Es una dieta. No la sueltes. Así como cuando usted quería rebajar, ¿eh? te puso que dejó de comer. ¿eh? Solo iba a comer una tortilla un día, el otro un pan. Así. Así, entonces va variando. A este punto, en intermedio 4, ya varío. ¿Qué es lo que más me cuesta? Me cuesta el presente fuerte. Bueno, voy a meter el miércoles. El jueves voy a meter el futuro con going to, que me confunde esta cosa. Y ahí voy, yo me analizo, a ver qué es lo que más me cuesta. Y un extra, esos extras de ver videos, de leer libros, de oír música, la de la música siempre todo el tiempo. Si es posible de forma. Ahora, pero... Ya, ver videos, leer libros, eh, escuchar conferencias en YouTube sobre procrastinación, sobre desarrollo emocional, cosas así, bien fumadas, que al final le van a ayudar mucho, inconscientemente, ¿no? Entonces, todo eso lo dejo para el fin de semana, si me queda chance. O cuando tengo un tiempecito libre, me siento en lo que estoy jugando con los niños o algo, como escucha a Tony Robbins. ¿Ya? Entonces, le bajo la velocidad a YouTube a punto .75 en lugar de 1, ¿ya? Uh -huh. En los series. Me voy a los series, le bajo la velocidad a una velocidad que yo sienta que 
que hasta siento que están articulando para que yo lo siga y repita igual ya. Uh -huh. Eso, todo eso lo puede hacer, pero déjelo de último. Concéntrese primero en lo básico y ya cuando, como usted dice, sienta la confianza y escucha a usted misma y diga, ¿en qué chivo me voy? <risa> ya, lo agarré. ¿Estás? Ya, eso es todo. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Cualquier cosa, escríbame en WhatsApp, mándeme un audio si quiere. Me dice, mire, oiga, qué feo, sí, esto. <risa> le digo, sí, sí, sería feo. feo ¿no? <risa> La verdad bueno, es que sí. Bueno, bueno grabarle. Pues. <risa> no, hombre, tranquila. Estamos sí, sí, para sí. mejorar. Ay. Se puede. Todos somos humanos y tenemos áreas de oportunidad. Ay, y, y quizás a veces lo que más me, quizás hasta cierto punto me frustra es que o sea, yo en, en español hablo un gran montón. Pero en inglés también. Yo le estoy viendo ahorita en español como me está hablando en inglés. Allá y se suelta y se equivoca. Chivo. Démosle. Sí. Así es la cosa. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Gracias. I gotta go. Cualquier cosita ahí estamos a la hora. Feliz noche. Gracias. Adiós. Bye, Wendy.